Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About Being. Uh, this is going to be a video about migrating databases from on-prem databases to Azure SQL database. Okay, uh, you may ask me, we have uh, uh, covered this in a couple of videos uh, using Azure Data Factory. Uh, definitely yes, I, I don't say no. We can migrate uh, tables from on-prem to uh, Azure SQL uh, uh, databases using Data Factory pipelines by using looping concepts and all and copy activity and all uh, but there are a couple of uh, tools that we can explore to make this migration simpler and effective okay so i i thought i'll i'll take you through those uh, uh, tools today all right um, i'll take you through a presentation so before we decide about the tool we should answer a couple of questions right the first question is number of servers uh, SQL servers let's talk about uh, migrating SQL server first so our, our aim is to migrate SQL server from on-prem server to Azure SQL uh, database okay that's what our aim is so before you go for the migration we have to determine how many servers we have to migrate how many databases within the, those servers we have to migrate and what is the uh, size of those databases how large they are or how uh, huge they are okay and whether they can be any downtime to the source database or not source application there might be certain applications that are going to use your source database right which is on prem so whether there can be any downtime allowed or not so based on these factors we have to determine which tool to use so uh, le let me take you through uh, the tools actually now and the link that I have provided here right it, it talks about uh, the complete migration so th this is a very nice guide that is provided by Microsoft uh, if your aim is to migrate SQL server to uh, one more SQL server like upgrading from one version to another version from SQL server to Azure SQL database and Azure SQL managed instance there are lots of migrations you can do from SQL Server, right? So you have to choose the appropriate link if you have to convert SQL Server to the corresponding uh, links that is given here. So in our case, I have chosen this and I'm going to take you through the options provided in this link. Okay. If your aim is to migrate data from an on-prem Oracle server, Oracle database, then you have these many options. You can use the tools that are provided by microsoft to migrate data from oracle to azure database for postgresql sql server azure sql database so this is all possible similarly from db2 to azure sql database access db ms access right so that to azure sql uh, database and sql server so there are lot many options provided here uh, as a guide okay more than all we have to uh, consider uh, what and all failures we can expect how um, the whole migration is uh, 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 migration is determined whether it will go fine or not so all these things will be provided in the links provided here okay taking you back to the ppt the first tool that uh, we have for migration is data migration assistant okay so what is this data migration assistant how can you make use of it this is a free software you can uh, get the link from google and uh, uh, the executable basically so this is a free software which is installed on the on-prem server from where you have to migrate your databases okay so go to the um, on-prem server which is your source server install this data migration assistant and once you do that then it will be kind of a wizard okay you have to choose the source destination uh, what are the objects to be migrated everything you have to choose uh, in a wizard and then finally uh, you you your migration will be done okay and uh, it is offline migration offline migration in the sense application will uh, have a downtime and uh, uh, you, you have to inform your users and all there will be a downtime because of this migration and uh, you, you will have to bear with that that and all you have to convince your uh, clients okay so it is offline migration and it can migrate up to TBs of data. There is no uh, issue with respect to the size of data. It can migrate up to TBs, 100 TB, 1 TB or 50 TBs. It can be anything, okay? And time taken will be appropriately larger, okay? If you 
have huge data uh, and your band network bandwidth is also somewhat okay it might take days okay one day two days it can take uh, lots of time to migrate okay and uh, as, as i said it typically depends on internet connectivity and the bandwidth all right and uh, this tool can can be used for assessment how the migration um, might go what are the surprises that we will be having what are the issues that we will be having if we uh, undertake this migration everything a kind of assessment report i would say so you can make use of this tool to uh, get that assessment report even though you don't use this tool you can use this for assessment okay and uh, at a time it can uh, migrate eight databases everything in parallel right so you can migrate sql existing sql server so when i say sql server on prem to azure sql uh, server right uh, where should my sql server be located it can be on prem it can be on a azure virtual machine it can be on aws uh, uh, ec2 instance and it can be an rds in aws so it, it it can be in gcp as well okay so on the right hand side i have just provided uh, uh, where and all it is supported to migrate all right this is one such tool uh, so the minus that we could see here is the time taken okay so there is one more tool that is available which is nothing but um, uh, not tool it's a service provided by microsoft so this is data migration service uh, specifically aimed at uh, reducing the downtime okay this is uh, providing you two options one is online and another is offline right now there is no online uh, support provided for migration to azure sql database okay if your uh, uh, target is sql uh, database on virtual machine or uh, some other instance right then it is going to help you with the online stuff all right so how can you use this data migration service for the data migration assistant i said you have to download this executable from the microsoft side and you have to install it in the on prem server so similarly data migration service this uh, can be accessed if you have azure data studio or you can access it from the portal it itself right it can also migrate uh, tbs of data but the time taken here uh, will be much lesser than uh, um, how, how it is done using dma data migration assistant okay <clears throat> and uh, it is preferred if uh, uh, the migration is going to happen on a huge database okay the size is huge the numbers are huge it this service is recommended when compared to data migration assistant which is dma okay why it is recommended is it 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 is much resilient and it works at scale okay based on the load it is going to a uh, scale itself okay so that that is why dms is preferred over dma for uh, those instances which uh, require lots of uh, database migration as well as um, if you don't uh, allow downtime right then data migration services recommended there will there will not be much downtime so what they claim is on, in the website nearly zero downtime for dms okay but uh, uh, with respect to dma there will be downtime right so that is the major difference that i could uh, observe uh, between these two and uh, it also helps to assess the migration and it can lift and shift hundreds of databases at the same time in parallel okay when i said eight databases with respect to dma it's hundreds of databases here so uh, this is all about the comparison i had for uh, the tools which is dma and uh, dms there are couple of other tools as well but these two are the uh, primary ones that we um, have in the documentation okay so this is with respect to azure sql database migration uh, from on prem sql server i'll be taking you through a couple of other migration uh, related information that could uh, be of use to you okay if you have any experience doing migration using these tools i request you to uh, let us know in the comment section how it went or uh, did you encounter any issues while using this so that it can be useful for others thanks a lot for watching my channel uh, i request you to subscribe if you haven't done so thanks to all those who have already subscribed thank you so much